Hello and welcome, my name is Miranda and today I'm going to be doing a little um, try a chapter tag. So um, I don't know why this is a tag actually, um, I'm guessing you tag people in it but I'm just going to do it because I want to do it. So um, a few weeks ago I did um, a little unhaul of books, um, I got rid of some, there were a few books that um, I got from the Women's Prize long list um, that I wasn't sure if I wanted to read or not because I didn't know that much about them, I hadn't heard that much about them. They were like interesting enough for me to want to keep them but not interesting enough for me to want to read them like now. Um, which is the kind of book that sits on my shelf for months slash years and I forget about. So a couple of people in the comments suggested that um, I do try a chapter where I read a chapter um, not just a random chapter, the first chapter um, of the books and then see if I like them and basically see if I want to keep them or not. Um, I don't think I'm gonna carry on reading any of these books um, from this point, um, as in like I'm not gonna instantly like carry on with them um, even if I like them a lot because I have a lot of things that I want to read at the moment um, and it's not really at my priority list but I really want to at least know if they're gonna stick around or not. So the books that I'm gonna be judging by their first chapter um, or first couple of chapter chapters with most of them because the first chapter is quite short um, are Consent by Annabelle Lyon, Nothing But Blue Sky by Kathleen McMahon and Small Pleasures by Claire Chambers um, and I think I'm gonna start with this one because why not? It's got oranges on the cover. <laughs> so the first chapter of this is quite short um, so I'm going to read up to chapter two. Um, I'm going to read chapter two as well, I mean, um, which is about page 25. So let's do that. So I just read the first two chapters of Small Pleasures by Claire Chambers and I really enjoyed it. This is actually um, definitely one that I'm going to keep um, because I am really intrigued to see how this is going to go. Um, so in the first two chapters, basically you get introduced to um, Jean, who is a um, writer at a kind of a local newspaper basically and she does like sort of all the boring bits. Um, it's the 1950s and she's the only woman who works there and she also has to look after her aged mother as well um, which she kind of resents and um, there's a kind of interesting dynamic going on there um, and Jean seems like a really kind of, I don't know, a character that I want to get to know better and then it, this starts off with a letter um, being written in um, from a woman who claims to have had a virgin birth. Um, so Jean goes to investigate this um, and we've just, the second chapter is basically their first meeting. Um, and I'm really enjoying it so far. There's a lot of interesting kind of character dynamics developing already. The woman who has is claiming to have had a virgin birth, the, it's really interesting how, um, I don't know, the you can tell that like it's it feels really genuine um and um Jean is like obviously she really wants to find out um whether this is real and properly do an investigation and I'm like I want to know the mystery I I just have a feeling that this is going to be one that I really enjoy so I'm definitely going to keep this and definitely read it at some point next I'm going to start reading Nothing But Blue Sky by Kathleen McMahon um I'm not sure how this is going to work because the first chapter of this is only six pages long um, but the second chapter is 30 pages. Do you mind? So if I'm enjoying this I'll read the full first two chapters um, and if I, I don't know, get bored and want to stop, I'll stop. Let's go! So I just finished the first chapter of this. Um, which like I said is only six pages long um, but I already love it <laughs> so I don't think I actually need to read anymore um, and considering that it's really freaking loud here and um, filming this is getting to be a little bit of a pain in the ass I think I'm gonna leave the rest of this for another time because this is already be already really beautiful so this is about a man who um, an elderly man who has lost his wife recently um, and basically at the very beginning of this book he is describing um, how they always used to go on holiday to this very particular place 
um, and it felt like it was theirs um, and he is going back there well he's kind of preparing to go back there for the first time since she's died so it's the first time he's going there on his own um, and already I'm like so I I can tell that this is gonna be a good one um, so I'm gonna leave the rest of it for another time so yeah I'm gonna leave this one for the moment and move on to my final one Consent by Annabelle Lyon. So I just finished the first chapter of this um, and I'm not as sure about it as I am with the others um, but I'm also intrigued so I think I'm going to keep this one as well. Um, this is so far about a, um, a young woman who was moved to Quebec um, for university and she's kind of I don't know kind of getting involved in a sort of world of fashion that she hasn't um experienced before um and it's very kind of I don't know the way it's written is very weird and unique and I'm kind of intrigued so I want to continue with this at some point even though I don't like it as much as the other two so that's that I guess um I like all of the books and I'm keeping them so <laughs> Um, that's fun. I mean, this was this was good to do because now I know more about these books and I know more what to expect um, when I start reading them properly. So um, yeah, I'm really happy that I did this. Thank you so much for watching. Um, also, I'm sorry I didn't get a video up last week. Um, I f did film one, but I just wasn't feeling it. Um, and it was all, then I was busy and it was just, didn't work out. So we're getting one now. Also, um, my TBR is currently this number. Yay! But thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.